So I was going to do a vlog every Saturday, but I decided not to do that. Sometimes it will be a vlog, but other times it's just going to be a random video. Hence the name, Seven Types of Siblings. This is usually the oldest child. They really need every single detail to be absolutely perfect. And if it's not perfect, you're going to hear about it. When you do your chores or just do anything, they always come behind you and fix it. You know, do it the right way. The Two-Faced Troublemaker. This is the sibling that would be a perfect angel in front of your parents, and as soon as your parents leave the room, they become a totally different person. They're jumping on the furniture, they're treating you like they're slave, whatever. But you can tell that it's a total act in front of the parents. And they could be arguing with you, and as soon as their parents walk in, they immediately switch to a nice tone and start asking you if you want help with your homework. Cry baby. This is a sibling that will literally cry at everything. You can't even have a pillow fight without them crying. You hit their shoulder with a pillow and they act like you just cut their arm off. Rolling on the floor, holding their arm and screaming, and then they go run to mom. That's when you're in trouble. Four, class clown. This is the sibling that has to make a joke about everything. Literally everything. Even if it's not even funny, they just have to get it out of their system. And you can't have conversations with them because they're making jokes about what you say or they come up with a joke in their head and start laughing about it. So you can never actually have a serious conversation with them. And you can't be serious because they're making you laugh if their jokes are funny. The negotiator. After you've hit the crybaby sibling and they're running to their parents, the negotiator sibling really comes in handy by telling the crybaby sibling that they can hit them again or they can have their dessert for a week as long as they don't tell their parents. But it can also be bad if you have a perfect opportunity to go and tell on that child, but they negotiate with you by saying you can have half the candy they're stealing if you don't tell your parents. That's when you've really got to think. The goody two-shoes. This is the sibling that's usually the tattletale and everyone knows it. Before you plan to do something bad, you make sure that the tattletale is not going to be around while you're doing it because you know that they're just going to happen to walk in the room just as your hands in the candy jar and they're going to run as fast as they can to mom and dad. Number seven, the pig pen. This is the sibling whose room is so messy you can't even tell what color their carpet was. And if you successfully make it through their obstacle course of random junk, you would find about a dozen of your things that you've been looking for for about a month. Bid you touch any of their stuff because apparently everything has a place. There's a chair over here with three shirts and a cup of some moldy drink that's probably been there for about a year. And under their bed, there's probably something crawling under there with teeth. My second video. I'm really excited for this whole YouTube channel thing. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and comment below on which sibling you think you are or if you have a sibling like one of these. Thanks! Bye!